Make-A-Wish Hawaii grants wishes to children with unfortunate circumstances or illnesses, but granting wishes is made entirely through public support. Here to tell us a little bit more about that is Will Phelps. He's an outreach manager and someone who knows how good it feels to help. Uh, wish granter, Michelle Garcia. Thank you guys so much for being with us. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, John. Wonderful hey, to be here. Yeah, thank you so much. Will, let's start with you. What exactly, can you define what Michelle does, uh, a wish granter? What does a wish granter do? Absolutely. So a wish granter is a volunteer that works in uh, a group of two or three to be able to, uh, just as it says, grant wishes. So they, they meet with the child, they uh, uh, learn uh, more about the child's likes, and uh, discover what their most heartfelt wish is. Then they build anticipation for the wish to be granted, and then they uh, build a celebration for the granting of the wish itself. Well, that's pretty amazing. Michelle, uh, now you've been, I understand you've been a wish grander for about six years now. What inspired you as a volunteer uh, to be a wish granter? Sure, well, what inspired me was Make-A-Wish Hawaii granted my niece Precious in 2013, her wish for a motorized wheelchair. Now on her wish day, it was just a moment of so much happiness, love and joy by the community and by the people around her, just taking the time to be here for her wish. And at that moment, when I was standing behind her, I looked around and so much tears ran down and I just wanted to basically give back, give back to Make-A-Wish for what they have done for her and for our family. So I reached out to Kari at Make-A-Wish. I thank her so much and I, want, and I wanted to see how I could give back. And that is when I became a wish grantor. Uh, let me stick with you for a second. That, I mean, that sounds so amazing and I'm sure you feel so good about it. Uh, could you give us maybe your most memorable experience or moment as a wish grantor? Absolutely. Now, Precious's wish reveal was made such an impact in my heart that during any wish reveal that I come across with my wish cakey, I really take the moment to gain a lot of their interest and what they love and I, their favorite dessert and provide them with uh, balloons and just really make it very fun and happy. Now, for Precious's wish, I really remember everyone holding signs with her names. Therefore, during any wish reveal, I like to make it personalized and I like to create that happy moment for them. And the look on their faces and their family's faces, their emotion is so rewarding. And that is what is so rewarding to become a wish grantor. Now I know Precious is just very happy and she's so proud of me for doing this for her wish family um, and her friends and I basically love it and it's just my passion that I love to do every day and just to keep Precious's legacy alive. Well, I'm gonna ask you a question real quick, but I want Michelle to move in so we can all get a good look at this wish granter. Um, there you go, perfect. Well, um, it sounds like you got the perfect wish granter right next to you, but I'd like for you to define what you're looking for in a wish granter. Could you help us out a little bit with that? Absolutely. Uh, we're looking for folks that are just as passionate as Michelle. We're, we're always looking for folks that, that love to help kids. That's, that's really what, what the, the underlying thing is. You know, if you, if you love working with kids and, and you want to find a way to help, even if it, it you know, yes, we'd love to, you to be a wish granter, but, but we also have uh, event volunteering. We have a, a program called Wish Ambassadors that you're able to jump into as well. Uh, there are lots of different ways that you can jump in and get involved uh, with helping grant wishes for all our keiki here uh, in Hawaii. And I might want to add now, now's probably a good time to say this, that you don't have to be perfect and you don't have to know all about it because you guys, this uh, this coming Saturday, maybe it's next Saturday, I, I have the, the date following here. following Saturday, yes. You guys are going to train folks that want to help out. Could you tell me a little bit more Absolutely. about the training? Oh, sure. Uh, the, so the training is on February 5th. It's okay. a virtual training uh, over Zoom. and. Uh, we spend some time getting to know uh, more about uh, tools and techniques to work with wish kids, uh, lots of different uh, scenarios that we work with, you know, talk about a whole bunch of things to, to get you prepared and ready to meet your wish child for the first time and be able to grant their wish. And uh, it's, it's an incredible thing. We, we're looking for all sorts of folks. Uh, if you'd like to get involved that way, uh, go ahead and head on over to hawaii.wish.org and um, go to the Ways to Help page and look for Volunteer with us. There's a, an application for you to fill out and I'll connect with you shortly to get started with uh, whatever it is you'd wanna do to get involved with wishes. 
Okay, let me ask you this, Will. Um, do we need running shoes? Are you looking for workout clothes? Are we going to sweat? Do we need a towel and a hydro flask? What's, what's up? Do we, uh, what should we do? <laughs> More like uh, work, uh, work for the brain. Okay. Definitely working on uh, lots of different things. But then when you're doing wish reveals and stuff, you want to wear comfortable clothing for sure to be able to do everything for our wish kids. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for being with us. Again, that information is going to be on our website shortly after the show, uh, or look for it at least before lunchtime. Will, Michelle, thank you so much for all that you guys do, and uh, good luck with the training, and we'll see you guys real soon. Thank you. Thanks so much, John. Thank you. Take care, you guys. Appreciate it.